Lay go. Welcome, A Full Nation. This video is a series of videos where I build this epic Gothic cathedral. If you're tuning in for the first time, you might want to go back and check out the beginning of the build here. Otherwise, if you've been following along all this time and you're ready to go on to see the next part, then by all means, let's go Lego.
Welcome back, A Full Nation, and thanks for sticking around for 10 parts. The Gothic Cathedral is finally finished. I'm going to try to turn it without hitting the light. Oh, we're finally finished after I've been picking parts for since September. It's just about the middle of May. Um, I just wanted to do a quick review of, you know, what I thought of this set. Um, some of the challenges I faced, some of the enjoyable parts. For one thing, I will say that this thing is epic. It is huge and um, it is very impressive. The stained glass windows are really beautiful. That's one of the reasons why I went for the set to begin with. Um, of course, one of the last upgrades I need to do before this is officially done is put uh, LEDs in here so that it'll light up all the windows, of course. The instructions are $50, which is kind of steep. For that amount of money, I would expect them to be perfect, and the instructions were not perfect <laughs> by any means. Uh, they need some work. I, I did talk to Felix, the, the designer of this model, and he said he actually has not built this in real life. So some of the things I saw are just like floating bricks in the middle. You know, you'll be building up a layer and then brick above it is hovering in midair because they left out, they forgot that there was a brick supposed to be below it. I was amazed honestly too at how many extra pieces I have left over. I mean, I thought I was pretty good at counting and picking all these pieces, but I have so many pieces left over and big whole bricks, like, I'm not sure what happened. I don't think I left them out. I just think the instructions <laughs> weren't correct. Uh, for the upper window part up here, right, the, these windows on the tower, there were no instructions. There's, there's design patterns for all these other windows from here down, uh, these you're kind of on your own to make up your own design, which is fine. I had enough pieces to kind of make it. Uh, a couple other things I didn't like structurally. For instance, the top tower up here in the front, this whole front panel right here is just kind of flaps in the wind. So I had to change the design to tie it in here at the bottom so when you actually take off the tower it's it's a little more structurally sound uh, another thing just like he used this piece you know several throughout here he used like one two three four five six six of these double studded pieces to hold on you know arches and in various places and you just don't need that much structure to hold something on that is so lightweight like this. Um, I wised up a little bit towards the end and started to just put one stud here and one stud up here uh, to hold on the arch. And that works out fine and I saved those pieces which again I can use in another build uh, for some, some other time. I found several of those type of occasions where I could save money, you know, like my little gargoyles here are actually T-Rexes. The uh, original design had called for some dragons, but these were in plenty of supply at uh, the Lego shop right down the road from me, and they, look, they make pretty good gargoyles. Overall, this is a magnificent piece of work, of art, um, I, um, but I enjoyed building it and I can't wait to see what it looks like, you know, lit up. So if you enjoyed watching me build this um, epic gothic cathedral, I appreciate you for sticking around for 10 parts. Um, please subscribe and uh, wait and see what my next project will be. Oh, yeah, wait, I forgot one more thing. Forgot one little piece.